One way to find out. in its existence, and only awaiting discovery? Or might it be changed? Here we learned the answer, and thought it might save us. They were used to command, to control, to own. But we soon discovered another use. When enough sat in thrall and were told to believe, their thoughts took on form. What was imagined became real. If a hundred minds could wish away a wall or create a tree, what might a thousand do? Ten thousand? More? Might we change the consensus and will the threat away? We resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Once placed, a sentence would be uttered. Make us safe. In this way, we would change the consensus. We would save the world. But it never came to be. We sent a dozen of them skyward, but there was no way to maintain control to direct the beam, to enthrall the world, to speak the words. Though this was strange and dangerous, what we tried next was worse.
Travel back to change the past, but we could not find a way. But forward, we could look forward, and so here we sought to see beyond ourselves and know what was to come. First, we watched to learn if our work would succeed, but the answer was always the same, so we moved on to other things. But she remained, the one you call Minerva. In time, she too stopped looking, and instead began to speak. She called out across time, in the hopes that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. tired of it. The cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want! But they are. We saw the Nephilim there. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes and we looked the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. It was the Apple, son. It was Juno. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Desmond. Lucy was going to betray us and take the Apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on and then... Failed. Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful.
tell me today?
I'm telling you, there's something down here. Don't be daft. I don't know, maybe they were sleeping or something and we woke them. Some kind of cryogenics or hibernation. I mean, how do we know what the hell they were doing down here? They were working on a bunch of different solutions, but nothing worked. Just went from one to the next, and then... I don't know. They must have left at some point. After the end. I wonder what the world would be like if they'd succeeded. I'm more concerned about what it'll be like if we don't. Salvation. They found a way. Too late for them. But not for you. Sealed. To protect it. So now it bars your way. Find the key. The past will tell. Hey, when this is all over, we should take a trip somewhere. Celebratory vacation. Yeah, that sounds nice. I'll listen to you. Italy, Brazil, and the United States, all in the span of a few weeks. And you're complaining about not getting out enough? Seriously, Sean? No, not seriously. Are you mad? Trust me, no one wants time off more than I do, right? Do you have any idea how hard it is to crank those database entries out as fast as I do? The sooner we're done here, the sooner we can take that vacation. We'll have plenty of time to talk when this is all over. We should focus on our work now.
Yeah, we should probably get back to work.
I've been poking around a bit. Did you know there are machines down here that make, well, manna? What do you think? Biblical, of course. The Greeks called it ambrosia. The Indians, amrit or soma. Most cultures around the world refer to a divine food, though I'd say its taste is anything but. Something that came out of a 75,000-year-old machine. And I live to tell the tale. So? What did it taste like? Cardboard. Taste of cardboard. Hardly the stuff of legends, though. I wonder if the first civilization didn't taste differently than we do. Maybe the flavorizer broke. Flavorizer? You certainly got away with word for that time. approached, one that was dark and cold. It would consume us, for we were flesh, and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice, not to save us all. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita, my husband, my love. In the end it changed him, ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive, but his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release, for days, for weeks, for months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But, but there, there wasn't, wasn't one. one. Not, Not for, for him. him. Not, Not for, for us. us. 